Hi, people. You're welcome to my channel. So today there is this opportunity with the Digital Action Lab. I'll share the link for you to view the website and see how everything is. Read, read everything for yourself and also get the application link. But for now, I'll be guiding you through the application process. So welcome to Digital Action Lab an initiative empowering civil society actors in countries facing restricted civic space, the skills, resources, and confidence to take effective action for inclusive democracy. Digital Action Lab mission is to cultivate real world pilot projects that strengthen the, the organizing advocacy and campaign capacities of participating civil society groups in the global south including via enhanced collaboration with local allies. By doing so, we will develop the knowledge, approaches, and tools needed to support even more pro-democracy organizations. So if you're a civil society organization, whether you're formally registered or not, and you're really into pro-democracy, this call is for you. So how does it work? They will use an open nomination and application process to select DAL cohorts of up to 10 civil society organizations. So over a nine month period, participants will work with the CIVICAS team, technical experts and each other to develop a fully funded project, which will be delivered in their local setting. And grants will range from $10,000 to $30,000 US dollars. Participants will also receive extensive coaching and additional non-financial support throughout the process, along with opportunities for engagement with wider networks and events. There will be three DAL cohorts between 2024 and 2026. So three cohorts of about 10. So those will be like 30 organizations in total. Why you should apply to create and control your DAL experience, participate in an initial in-person co-creation workshop to define your digital AAL cohorts joint priorities and ways of working together, along with a discovery process to identify the focus of your specific pilot project. There will be tailored skill enhancements and confidence building. This is a chance to improve your skills through tailored workshops and training plans which address the unique needs and challenges of the organization. So DAL is committed to building your confidence, empowering you with the knowledge and expertise to leverage new digital opportunities for your work. The third reason to join is to take existing work to the next level. So rather than starting from scratch, DAL projects will focus on enhancing your current strategies and approaches to maximize impact and sustainability. You already know what is needed to deliver real change for inclusive democracy. The DAL will simply help you to unlock your digital potential. So you must have an existing project that you want to improve. Uh, the fourth reason to join is to explore and test digital solutions. Receive funding and support to find the digital tools and approaches you need to, uh, to overcome persistent challenges or turbocharge your existing practices. This could be directly related to enhancing your organizing, advocacy, and campaign work, or strengthening the organizational systems and capacities these activities depend on. The fifth reason to join is for financial support and participation. Of course, there'll be a grant of 10,000 to 30,000 USD to fund both your costs of participating in the DAL and the implementation of your DAL pilot project. The last reason to join this program is for structured format for meaningful engagement. Participate in the DAL, the Digital Advocacy Lab, via online collaboration platforms, virtual workshops, localized implementation activities, and at least one in-person workshop. This combination of settings and formats aims to maximize opportunities for engagement with the DAL team, peer learning, and community building. 
the seventh reason to join is for documentation and knowledge sharing. Contribute to the creation of case studies, infographics, videos, and other knowledge products that document your approaches, practices, and lessons learned. Your experiences will be shared through the DDI Knowledge Hub and RODA Civicas Strategic Networks, aiding other civil society actors in their efforts to expand civic and democratic freedoms. Showcase pro progress and networking opportunities. Participate in a DAL Achievement Summit at the end of the initiative, along with additional opportunities for engaging wider networks, including communities and events like I4C, VUCA, Rights Cone, and more. Connect with like-minded peers, share successes and challenges, and foster collaborations to further enhance your work. So there are two ways to apply for this. One is by being nominated. Uh, tell organizations or individuals to nominate you, and also the other way is to apply for it yourself. So let us read. Uh, the Digital Advocacy Lab is a unique opportunity for pro-democracy groups. Those are groups that support democracy or are fighting for democracy in challenging contexts to receive funding and non-financial support for using digital technologies to strengthen their work. We are placing a specific emphasis on ensuring participation from underrepresented or marginalized actors, including women, youth, and informal civil society. So we need your help to identify the civil society actors who could benefit from the most, who could benefit the most from the initiative. This could be a group doing amazing work, but is struggling with achieving scale or greater visibility or you see as having real potential, but which needs to be unlocked with the right guidance and support. Please use this form to nominate an organization you think would be a good fit for the first digital advocacy lab cohort, keeping in mind the eligibility criteria listed below. Your suggestions are highly important for making the DAL participant selection process more targeted and inclusive. So let's look at the eligibility criteria. The DAL is open to civil society organizations of the Global South that are actively involved in advancing inclusive democracy, civic space, organizations representing historically excluded groups are encouraged to apply or be nominated and will make up at least 50% of each cohort. We will also be prioritizing organizations from countries with restricted civic space. The program seeks collaborators who are committed to shaping and testing digital interventions to strengthen their organization, organizing advocacy and campaign capacities or other organizational systems and capabilities which underpin this work. With the full, okay, let me open the full eligibility criteria and see. As it's still loading. So you can either apply or you nominate. So you can tell someone to nominate you, or you can tell many people to nominate you, many organizations that know about your work, or many individuals who know about your work. So I'll take you through apply now. Let me open it in the background as I okay, so. The application form will ask you about the nature of your organization, including its mission, the communities you work with and for, and the approaches you use to promote inclusive democracy and civic space. It also asks about how you currently use technology, why you want to be a part of the Digital Action Lab, and any specific accessibility requirements you might have. They are currently accepting applications for the Digital Action Lab until January 10th. So we have a few, like about two weeks to apply. Applications will be reviewed on a rolling basis. So they encourage interested candidates to submit their applications at their earliest convenience. So this is how the program will run. The first digital action lab board will run for nine months. Then organizations will be notified about the results of the applications by mid-January. So I think it will be about a week after the uh, call for application ends that they will announce people who have gone through. 
Uh, then partnership agreements will be in place with all organizations by January 2024, followed by a full onboarding process. Uh, the in-person co-design event will be tentatively taking place in February 2024. A location will be confirmed. Then the program, the program will be developed for each organization. Then there'll be an achievement summit. And lastly, there'll be an end of first cohort in September 2024. You come and see everything here. In case you need more information about this project, you can come and send an email. So let's, so let's look at the eligibility requirements. The Digital Action Lab is open to civil society organizations, staff members, or volunteers and individual activists if they are formally affiliated with a civil society organization or group and have received written approval from the relevant decision makers to apply for this opportunity. We, divide, we define CSOs, both the civil society organizations, as one of the following non-government organizations, civil society coalitions and networks, protests and social movements, voluntary bodies, campaigning organizations, charities, faith-based groups and trade unions. Both formally registered and informal groups are accepted. Preference will be given to underrepresent, underrepresented or marginalized actors, including women, youth, indigenous people, LGBTQ and grassroots or informal civil society. Grassroots groups and movements use collective action from the ground up to effect change. They are therefore associated with bottom up rather than top down decision making and often considered more spontaneous than well established or organizations or traditional power structures. Grassroots groups and movements encourage community members to contribute by taking responsibility and action. Such communities can be place-based, identity-based, issue-based, and self-organize using a variety of strategies and approaches. The informality has to do with either not being formally registered with authorities or when registered, operating in a highly informal way fluid, non-hierarchical, and non-professionalized. Applicants must be based and working at the national or local level in OECD. Those are, those are countries that receive opportunity or development aid. Global South countries, you can look at them. So centrally funded local offices of international or global based organizations are ineligible. Applicants must be working to protect or enhance inclusive democracy and or civic space. By inclusive democracy, we mean a political system and a culture of participation that is based on human rights, accountability and the rule of law, gender equality, inclusion and protection of marginalized or vulnerable groups as well as, well as civic space and the active engagement of civil society. Okay. You come and read all this at your own pace. So these are the countries that receive development aid. But we can look at an archive version, I hope. Yeah. So this is a list of countries. You can come, you come and just search for your country here. Let me search for Uganda. Of course, it's among the countries that receive aid. So Uganda is there. Basically, developing countries. So let me leave everything and take you to the application form. So start now. I confirm that the organization I represent is a civil society organization or group. First, yes. I am formally affiliated with the organization or group. Yes. 
no movement contact person. So this is just for showing you how to apply. So I'll just use fake names. Let me see. So you talk about where you learned about this opportunity for your case. Maybe you learned it from my channel. So talk about channel. Where does your organization work? So you come and select where they work. If your organization works at the subnational level, please state the main geographical location. This refers to so subnational level. Maybe we talk about the region. Maybe range region. What does your organization aim to achieve, and what are the main activities? So here you talk about what's your mission, what activities do you do. Does your organization represent any underrepresented? So talk about the people your organization represents. Select what applies to you. If yes, please describe how these groups are represented by your organization. So how do you work with these people? You select your own. Talk about them here. Maybe you employ the people who are your beneficiaries. Maybe you train them, maybe your leaders are part of the beneficiary group. Talk about that there. Yeah. Please describe your organization's experience and priorities related to organizing and camping for inclusive democracy and those of its space. Talk about how your organization prioritizes campaigning for inclusive democracy and those yes. Maybe you talk about do awareness, explain how you do that. Maybe you do lobbying, government, explain whatever it is that you're doing in civic space. Briefly describe some, make sure you write a hundred words. I'm not going to write a hundred words because I'm already talking about it. Briefly describe some of the main ways your organization uses technology for its work. Perhaps your organization has developed an, a mobile application, or you have a website, or you're using a chatbot, whatever technology you're using. Talk about how you're using that in civic space for democracy. Make sure you stick to 100 words maximum. Uh, how does your organization collaborate with other civil society actors within your country? Perhaps you're part of coalitions that are advocating for democracy. So talk about that here. Make sure you stick to 100 words maximum. Please outline any specific assistance or resources you might need to ensure your group participation in digital action lab activities. So go back and read. Go back to this initial website to this page and read about what exactly you want to get from the Digital Action Lab program. So you come and type that here. What are your main motivations? What are your main motivations for applying to be part of the Digital Action Lab? What do you hope to gain from your participation? Still, you'll come and see what this digital action lab is offering. There are seven, there are eight reasons that have given us to apply. So 
come and check out which of these which of these eight reasons you want to benefit from. So you can type them here. Is your organization able to receive funds from CVCAS's US based bank account? So state what charities. Uh, briefly describe any challenges you have experienced with accessing either financial or non-financial support and why this opportunity would be particularly unique or important for advancing the work of your organization. So talk about the challenges of organization and make sure they are aligned with the benefits of the, of the programs so that there's an actual need for you to take part. Is there anything else you'd like to share about yourself or your work that is relevant to your application? So look for links about maybe past projects, about work with partners, anything. Make sure you put it here and stick to 100 words maximum. Would you like to, okay, so this is the last part. So I just have to select, accept the terms. I acknowledge that the information provided is accurate and complete to the best of my knowledge. I understand that if selected, I'll be expected to actively participate in the digital action lab and its activities. So you can go back and reread your application. And when you're ready, you can click on submit. That's it, don't forget to like, and share, share this video with people who need to join the Digital Action Lab program. Goodbye.